As we end 2023 here, the deadline set by Governor Kathy Hochul that all new school buses sold in New York must be zero emissions by 2027 grows closer for Gates Chilai Central School District. Rather than wait, they've embraced the new technology and they're getting a head start with a growing fleet of electric buses. Liam Healy checked in with them as they move into year two of their initiative. In 2020, the Gates Chilai School District first started to work towards electrifying their bus fleet. Now, at the end of 2023, they've already been running two electric buses for over a year, with three more set to enter service in 2024, according to the district's transportation director, Matt Helmbold. We just had infrastructure installed um, by RG&E uh, this week, actually. So hopefully before or right after the new year, we'll have a total of five on the road. According to a 2013 study from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, the average round-trip bus route in the United States is 73.46 miles, which doesn't even begin to eclipse the range of this current generation of electric buses. Without recharging, they get over 100 miles. So that varies just like your car with gas or diesel vary. We've actually run one of these buses last year all the way across uh, the city to East Rochester from Gates. Um, so we, we run them quite a bit. Uh, transportation is a split shift, so you're doing it in the morning and afternoon. So if you have to charge a little bit in the middle of the day, that's what we do. As battery technology continues to improve, we can expect the range of electric buses, cars, and trucks to continue to grow in the next few years, according to Dr. Michael Fowler, who's studying batteries for EVs at the University of Waterloo. Looking at other chemistries for the batteries, we're looking at uh, aluminum air possibility because then you have the materials are cheaper, uh, lighter, and are, we have the elements coming into those, but it'll be better in five to 10 years for sure. So as the deadline moves ever closer for zero emissions, the technology, while you may not see it, is working to catch up and will hopefully be ready when the time comes. Reporting from Shilai, Liam Healy, News 8.